Eurovision fam, it's Alicia Michelle. I am really excited today because I'm not alone. No, you're not. Uh-oh. Because I'm here. It's Robin. So I, I, I have to say, I'm kind of mad at you. Right Why? Now. I'm a little bit upset because Thank I you. have not gotten that song out of my head. Take a chance on me. It's been stuck in my head since week one. What, that's, and I'm that's not lying. Intention. They all know that. They all know that. People come to my channel because I give them real talk. Mm -hmm. I can't lie. Like, what was it like when you first heard the track? Because I mean, you're coming back mm -hmm. to Melody Festival and after already winning, yeah. I mean, it probably was already somewhat of a challenge to think about like, okay, do I want to come back and do this? But like, how did you feel about the song when you first heard it? Uh, I, I loved it from the first time I heard it. And uh, you know, it was, it was written by Jimmy, who is a friend of mine and, and, and Marcus and Nicole Friedrich. And uh, it was not intended for me at all, I think. It was written at a camp and uh, I just heard it in his studio, and uh, and I told him, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about going back to Melfest, and uh, I think you should let me record this song. And he was like, Yeah, sure. I think they even like wanted a girl to sing it at first. Okay. Um, but then we recorded it, and it felt really good, and we sent it in, and it's been stuck in my head ever since. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. You, here. me, everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's something about this song that I do feel has like this instant attachment. I kind of feel like the song. There's a familiarity mm -hmm. about it, and I, I, I like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think there's something about hearing a song that, and I've used this word like derivative. I don't think the song is derivative, but I think it feels familiar. It feels like comfortable. Mm -hmm. When you're thinking about a song and when you're singing a song, kind of what are you thinking about in your mind? Like when you're on stage? Because I, I do feel like you have a way of delivering a song that feels very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Like you don't you. seem like awkward so kind of what are you thinking in your mind when you're on stage honestly i don't think much at all i just you know i have my cameras you know it's camera seven it's camera five and <laughs> uh, that's pretty much all i think of and you know try to sing it as, as good as possible but maybe this year I, I think a bit more because i don't have uh, uh, a big uh, staging or uh, choreography so i get to like just take the arena in more and just you know uh, enjoy the moment more. Um, yeah. But I just, you know, I, I, I sung it so many times now, so I don't have to think about, you know, the lyrics or anything like that. So, uh, this is a big jinx right there. But well, <laughs> don't want to mess up the lyrics on Saturday. But I'm knocking on wood. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm thinking about. I'm, I'm just you know, try to sing it uh, as good as possible. That's what I'm thinking I, about. Okay. I did ask Ashley from mm -hmm. the Mamas this question because I am, I'm, I'm curious, like. I do love your song. I think it's great, mm -hmm. but this year at Melody Festival is pretty competitive. It's a, mm -hmm. I like I and I I love it. For me, I think it's kind of great. Of course. Are there any other songs in the competition? If you could steal someone's song and be like, hmm, I'm gonna take your song and mm -hmm. sing it, and maybe like remix it, whose song would you take? <laughs> um, I think uh, I, I would have to say Anna Bergendahl. Because okay. It, it has this, you know, country rock pop uh, vibe to it, uh, which is pretty close to the stuff that I do myself. So mm -hmm. I think I could sing that pretty good. Um, yeah, that 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 would be it. I can see myself like with a guitar <laughs> singing it. So probably ah, not. okay. So you would m remix it a little bit. Yeah, probably. Make it make it more Robin. Yeah. Robin B. Mm -hmm. That's what we're gonna call it. Robin okay. B. Sure. Whatever. Does Kingdom Come? I mean, I'm cool with that. Yeah, me too. Okay, awesome. I, I actually put a, up a cover of it on my Instagram ah, channel. Ah, already? Yeah. Okay, so it's plug. It's a short snippet, but um, yeah. Okay, plug, so you gotta check it out. Have you seen any other national selections? Because I mean, you're kind of like a pro at this whole like Melody Festival and thing. I mean, I think we can say that mm -hmm. at this point. Have you seen any other national selections? Not necessarily just this year, but like maybe what do you think about other national selections and how they kind of compare to Melody Festival? And I think, yeah, I've been to, I actually visited Iceland for their national selection one year and uh, got to be a part of the jury to, to choose a winner. Uh, and uh, I've seen, I have friends who competed in Norway, so I've seen clips from that and also Denmark. Um, but I think Sweden is, you know, we've been doing this for a long time and it's mm -hmm. a big concept here. So I think we're like maybe ahead of uh, most countries when it comes to, you know, the television show in general and uh, you know the staging and, and all of that uh, but I think it's you know it feels like it's on an uprise in all of yeah. Europe like they're they're focusing yeah. more on it and they're making it bigger and bigger which is pretty cool. Well, what mm -hmm. do you think uh, Sweden kind of has over other cities? 
<sighs> well, it's hard to tell. I think I think the, all the Nordic countries are pretty similar. Like if, if you go to Copenhagen or Oslo or Stockholm uh, or uh, Helsinki, but um, I don't know. It's uh, it's pretty, you know. Well, uh, uh, how do you say it? Like the infrastructure is works mm -hmm. works really well, and it's uh, it's clean everywhere, and it's. Uh, most of the time and uh, I, I don't know I, you know I grew up here so it's hard to tell mm -hmm. you know what stands out because uh, you know when I go to other countries I think they're amazing in, in their own way so it's hard to tell yeah I think that there is something really organized about Sweden yeah. I, I really like the the order mm -hmm. I tell my friends I'm like I could go to the train station like at rush hour and like have my hands outstretched and like spin around and no one would touch me. Mm -hmm. And I kind of love that. <laughs> it's just, I think it's a very respectful yeah. culture yeah. and yeah, everything. And, and, and at the yeah. same time, it's, it can get kind of boring. Is it? Yeah. Well, we're, I guess I'm kinda, visiting. We're kind of closed up as person. We don't we don't talk to strangers on the bus. Well, that's true. Uh, that is true. And I think, uh, you know, that comes with it uh, in some kind of way. But overall, it's, it's a nice place to, to live. When you competed at Idol, who else competed at Idol that participated in Melody Festival? Same year? Yeah. This year, well, both Anna yeah. and uh, Lulu from the Mama. So tell me why. I saw the photo and I was like, this is like Photoshop. This is not real. Well, it's real. So, I mean, like, y'all kind of came up together then a little bit. Like, does, yeah. I mean, do you feel like you all kind of know each other a little bit differently than other folks? You know... I mean, just because it's like, I guess having that kind of foray into this world a little bit and maybe having the same like gateway to a certain extent maybe I, I think all three of us took kind of different like paths after yeah. idol so so maybe not in, in one way maybe me and anna has uh, more in common because we we hung out a lot uh, when we were in idol and we were pretty much the same age we were young like, i mean Lula was a was an adult when we were in idol and uh, we were most certainly not so <laughs> <laughs> so uh, but it's really fun to like reunite here in melfest the same year and we're all yeah. in the final and we're working with the same team like we all three of us have uh, sign and dennis doing our uh, performance staging so and uh, so styling dope. and so it feels like a like a little family